Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. You are speaking to a mere projection of Gale. His appearance, his voice, and a certain measure of his personality, reconstituted in this case to play as emissary and usher. Would you care to join him? What little I could glean from the portion of his mind that is open to me, it is a matter most urgent. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path and soon you will find him. I'm here on behalf of Gale. Gladly. Simply follow. this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness, when you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. And with company to match. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Babe or crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress' forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own terms. I can feel it. Ever since we set foot in this strange, corrupted land. The closer we get, 
the heavier my own heart becomes. Stay with me a while, will you? Day will come all too soon, even in this place. One moment with you could sate me for a lifetime and prize the fear from my heart. I'm so very glad you came to share this with me. I know this is all unreal, but I created it for you. You must know that you're... you're very special to me. If things were different, if we were home, I'd have taken time to do things properly, to say it all better. But time is short. I'm in love with you. I see. Well, perhaps this is for the best. Should my time be short, you will not be wounded too deeply by my absence. Thank you for spending this time with me. I think I want to be alone now. Cheeks are flush. There's a twinkle in your eye. But I think I am no longer the cause. It seems you found your heart's desire. But with someone else. And who would I be to stand in the way of such a union? I assume you didn't come here to seek my blessing, though. Was there something else you needed? Please. There is little more to be said on the subject. The best thing you and I can do is march on towards whatever awaits us. The end may be close. Time to reap what we have sown.